This is Beautiful People Tampa Bay, sponsored by Advent Health. In this morning's Beautiful People, making choices to be happy. A local woman is sharing how she pulled herself out of the darkness and now wants to show others how they can do the same. 10 Tampa Bay's Jenny Dean joins us this morning with more on her story. I love this whole family, Jenny. They are really a joy to be around. And you know, the journey for the Bethune family began in 2011. They were heading to Disney for their son's birthday. There was an accident on I-4 and seven-year-old Ethan died. Now it has taken years of therapy, but Jen Bethune believes that she's now found the key to letting go of trauma and finding a path to true happiness. And now she wants to share it with others. And that was really losing Ethan was the catalyst to making such a drastic shift in our lives. Such a drastic shift. The family decided to sell everything buy a vintage bus and hit the road with three young kids and three dogs. And I'm not gonna say it was easy because all of our problems just followed us. Along with therapy, the couple shared their journey on social media, all of it, the fun, the sad, the good and the bad. And people reached out telling Jen how sharing her story was helping them. So she kept going. Like, how could I not be myself more? How could I not get out there more? How could I not be more real, raw and vulnerable? if it gives people the space to do the same in their own life. Jen learned that you have a choice to face your trauma and grow or just sit with it. But when you release that trauma, when you release all that, you accept it, you recognize it. You say, I'm not gonna let this trauma define who I am. You let it go. She says there are still hard times, but now she has the tools to get through those tough days and wants to share them with everyone. It wasn't until we started traveling in the bus, going to so many different states, seeing the landscape, that I realized that, wow, nature's powerful. Nature is a free healing tool that you can use. She says there are three things you can do anywhere. One, balance your mind. Look at the clouds, just observe them. You know, just breathe them in. If a thought pops into your head, let it float by like the cloud. Just spend 60 seconds to five minutes just looking. What you're gonna realize is those cortisol levels come down, the stress comes down, the overwhelm is brought down, and you're like, oh, okay, I can exhale, I'm good. Two, silence the noise. Put your phone on do not disturb a couple times a week for 30 minutes and just be. Go on a walk, go just sit. Make sure your phone's away from you. Turn your watch off too, take it off and just be with yourself because that's when you can get the answers to the questions that you're desperately asking. And three, observe the moment. Look outside, look up into the tree, see the squirrel coming down, gathering acorns, rushing back up, see the ants marching along the sidewalk, see the birds flying in the sky. When you observe the moment, you realize what's important, the here, the now, not tomorrow, not the next day, because we're not promised that. And one final piece of advice that sounds a lot like the golden rule. As long as you are the light that you want to see in the world that inspires other people to do the same. And is everybody ready to go outside like yeah. and take a deep breath? Yeah. Such a beautiful family and yeah. message. They really are. And you know, I've been following them since 2020. She does have one of her dogs is a service animal. She does suffer from PTSD from that accident and losing her son. But seeing how far this family has come and how they've just opened themselves up to the world in order to help others yeah. is really truly special. Yeah. I cannot even imagine losing a child, especially at that age, seven yeah. years old, but she's leaned into life, which is Yes, I think that's the way to put it. She really has leaned Love into her life. advice. All right.